Luigi. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that cow, don't? Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. <laughs> Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Hola, Angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitch. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? No, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. On 
second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. Okay, back to work. So mean. This is the tiniest little hammer I've ever seen. My Prince Charming, are you back here just to insult me some more or do you just want some ice for your head? I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. I'm gonna go see about getting us a boat. Ooh, remember to get a fast one so we can water ski, all right? Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? have a lot of explaining to do. Me? About what? Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> so why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. And what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please.
Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. Listen, Meji. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. that direction. Stupid chisel! Why I order? Why I order? Stupid chisel! Kill it! Kill it. Torpedo! Huh? Who? Oh, you is it! Why I order? Look at my eyebrows! Well, you really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, neither are you right now, amigo. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins. You people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. Give me some booty, and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bus doll. That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? A gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? I think it's some form of blue-green algae. Ah, oh, don't worry, you get used to it. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Hold still. Yo, Pito, have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't, but I'd sure love to give it a test drive. 
See you, little chipper. You're okay. La di da di da da. Got the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. Oh, dee da da da. Use without bullets. Here, what good's a relationship without trust? True, a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. Mitchie, you don't know what you're. I know exactly what I'm doing. Now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Travel in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake Bing Boss. I'm gonna... Ah, <sighs> kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle this scene. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss Hector that way... You killed my best friend. The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little uh, time out, that's all. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know, I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work. Take it for me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-in tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would route all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the Pearl. I 
don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you going to do? Well, I got to get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. I hadn't lost my union card in that poker game. Let me out! Must be a combination lock, I'm but there are no here. numbers on it. Poor Don was never good with numbers. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. Hugsy! A little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good too. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good too. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. 